السلام عليكم now today ان شاء الله we will discuss about histosalpingography this is an instrument for histosalpingography this is called olive insufflation cannula olive insufflation cannula this is used to inject the dye inside the uterine cavity this is the uterus you will introduce the cannula so the cervix then inject dye inside the uterine cavity followed by x-ray so you will inject the dye followed by two x-ray films one immediate and one is delayed you will inject the dye through this opening inside the uterine cavity you will open the vagina by this instrument which is called Cusco, Cusco speculum, open the vagina by Cusco, then inject the dye by olive insufflation cannula. These are examples for histogeography. This one is <coughs> here, we can see that the uterine cavity is divided into two parts. Why the fallopian tube is normal, latent fallopian tube. So the uterus here is bicornet uterus. Bicornet uterus. Here in this picture, this is septate uterus. Septate uterus versus double uterus. Maybe double uterus. How to differentiate bicornet uterus and the septate uterus? Here, if you look to this angle, like seba, seba in Arabic. Here, this angle. If if you use angle, this is bicornet uterus. If acute angle, here the angle is acute angle so this is septate uterus septate uterus acute angle maybe double uterus to confirm the diagnosis we need <coughs> we need to do a hysteroscope and the laparoscope combined hysteroscope and laparoscope this is a picture of by coronary uterus here there is two cavities there is two cavities and also septate uterus the cavity is divided into two parts to differentiate by the laparoscope look look from above by laparoscope here laparoscope the uterine cavity from outside the uterine outlines is normal while here the uterus is divided into two parts by hysteroscope you will find the two cavities also here by hysteroscope you will find the two cavities also we can see this picture this is histogeography showing normal uterine cavity fallopian tube is patent we can see that the dye exit this exit is called this is called the peritoneal spill peritoneal spill uterine cavity is normal while the tube is patent and the peritoneal spill what is this this is the casco speculum so this is patent here's to this is patent for tubes and the normal uterine cavity and this is normal histosalpingography this is normal histosalpingography there is other one here what is it? This is uterine cavity is normal. Here, fallopian tubes distended with the dye. So there is obstruction here. The dye enter inside the tube and do not exit from it due to distal obstruction. Here, bilateral distal obstruction. Bilateral. Here, this is picture of hydrosalpinics. Hydrosalpinics. What is this? This is the cannula during injection. We take the X-ray film, so the cannula is seen here. The olive insufflation cannula, or screw type, maybe screw, maybe olive. So this is normal. This is bilateral hydrosalpinics. This is bilateral tubal obstruction, but the obstruction here is distal obstruction, not proximal. Also, here, this is his subjugraphy. This is the cannula also. Here the uterine cavity is normal, but the problem is that the fallopian tube is not visualized here. So what is it? This is proximal obstruction of the fallopian tubes. This is bilateral tubal obstruction, but here the obstruction is proximal obstruction. Also, there is histogeography here. Shows the uterine cavity. Here there is filling defect. Filling defect in uterine cavity. If it is, if it is regular filling defect means a fibroid like this one submucous fibroid or polyp but irregular filling defect here this is usher man syndrome or intrauterine adhesions regular filling defect fibroid irregular it will be usher man syndrome next picture is this is histogeography also shows 
here this is half half of uterus not the whole uterus and the one fallopian tube here this is one fallopian tube and the patent tube there is peritoneal spell so there is uniconet uterus this is uniconoate uterus and this is uh, and this is the cannula also and the half of uterus uniconet uterus the other half of uterus is not present this is one molarian duct only is present also other picture this one here this is histocell geography show with what is this at first this is the casco this is the uterine cavity here we can see iud iud is present extra uterine if the iud is intrauterine the shadow of iud will not appear the iud will be covered by the dye but here we can see the iud extra uterine iud the next one here this is uh, by coronate uterus because there is obtuse angle so this is by coronate uterus and the tube is patent here with peritoneal spell also here this is a uh, septate uterus because acute angle and also the tube is patent the last picture will be test for you and i want to see the answer in the comments uh, what do you see what is this uh, tell me the answer in the comments thank you